Hello, everyone. This is Michael from Kendo World, and welcome to the latest edition of Ked Talk. Uh, we're joined again today by Naomi Levine Ogura, our first uh, person to do the second interview with us. Uh, if you remember, we spoke to her some time ago uh, before the 61st Women's uh, All Japan Kendo Championships in which she entered. Uh, it's now been about a week since that competition. And I thought it'd be a good chance to catch up with Naomi and talk about her experiences of it. So, Naomi, welcome back to Ked Talk. Hi. <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited. Oh, good. Well, I hope I give you some uh, exciting questions uh, for you to deal with. So, first of all, uh, how was your experience of the All Japans? Um, I was kind of nervous, but... I was really excited, very much. So you've been in several big competitions before at the high school level with uh, Nakamura Gakuen, the uh, mm -hmm. the Inter High and Gyokuriki and uh, a couple mm -hmm. of others. How did uh, how was this one different from those competitions? Mm. Like it, no, no. Opponent was um, like older than me, like 24 years old or 30, 30 years old. So it was kind of adult tournament. So like a little bit different. So was this your first experience of fighting in a competition, someone of those ages? Yes. So in the the Iwate Prefecture qualifying competition, mm -hmm. were most of the the ladies in that were they around your age as well? Mm, the most of the age was, mm, I think twenty five. Like um, I think twenty five. Okay, so that's kind of quite a bit younger than yeah. what you would get in the men's competition where mm -hmm. I think it's 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 not so common to have uh well it has been over the last few years uh, more and more university students but generally it's it's guys in their mm -hmm. mid-20s or around 30 something like that now and again mm -hmm. you get someone that's close to 40 or just over 40 but mm -hmm. the women's competition tends to be much younger. Mm -hmm. But um, as I mentioned before, uh, you've you've been ha had a big competition career while you were at Nakamura Gakuen. So, how did the training that you received at that school? How did that help you in uh, in this competition? Um, 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 I was. For first time, um, I was uh, kind of nervous, so it was like, um, it was not like I can't like I can't move. So, so, but but I I did pretty good match. Yeah. You your first match was against, um, was it uh, Kaneko Mera? Yeah. Kaneko Mera, and uh, she's a fourth Dan from Miyazaki uh, Police Force. So I couldn't find out how old she was, but I guess she's in her mid-20s, something like mm -hmm. that, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so how was, how was that match? You said you were a bit nervous at the beginning, but how long did it take you to kind of, get into the right headspace, I suppose, for that much? I use a lot, I used a lot Waza. And that that is I, I learned at school. So I use a lot a lot of Waza. Do you have any particular Waza that's your Tokui Waza, your your special technique, your favorite one? Yeah, it was men. So I took men, two, two of them. Two of men. Okay. So mm -hmm. I guess if she had have read your profile before the, the match, 
mm-hmm. would say that your special technique or your favorite technique is men. So I guess she should have been expecting that. Mm-hmm. But uh, so she was from um, Miyazaki Police. Yeah. Yes, um, so yeah. that's in uh, in Kyushu, which is where you ended up going to high school anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, were you familiar with her at all from your from your time in high school? Had you seen her playing before? No, she. I think she is like twenty four years old, and she is police officer. Mm-hmm. Oh, so they wouldn't have. She wouldn't have entered obviously any of the competitions that you were in while you were in uh, Fukuoka. Yes. Okay, so you're, well, one thing I, I wanted to talk to you about, I'm not really sure how this is happening in uh, overseas outside of Japan, but because of Corona, um, there have been a lot of changes to competition rules in Japan. Mm-hmm. So you, if, if you end up going into uh, Tsubazeriai, mm-hmm. you're supposed to move out very quickly. I think mm-hmm. if they say Ichibyoshi, in one breath, you're supposed mm-hmm. to separate. If only one of you moves away, the person who doesn't move gets a hansoku. If mm-hmm. one moves too quickly, that person gets a hansoku. As you're moving out, you're not allowed to strike. Um, that, that will give you a hansoku, or you're not allowed to go from uh, urakosa, you're not allowed to cross mm-hmm. over. So were those type of new rules explained to you before the competition? Mm, not not quite, but I took hikiwaza for the first match, so I th- I thought I I caught a uh, hansoku, but they got me ippon, so I think it doesn't matter. But but still, they have like some some rules. Mm. Did it those type of rules? Did it? change the way that you approached the matches were, were you thinking mm-hmm. about oh I, I can't do this because maybe i'll get hansoku was it something you were always thinking about mm, but mm, recently um these then corona rules is like not not Expected, but like in some countries doesn't matter. So mm-hmm. like, um, Shinpan took like Kikiwaza or um, long Tsubaseriai. Mm-hmm. So some 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 countries do like Wakare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, recently I, I attended um, from the Ka- Kanagawa Kendo Federation uh, where I live uh, a shimpan koshukai, a shimpan lecture. And they were very strict about the rules, uh, teaching everyone the, the new corona rules. Like, absolutely, as you're separating, absolutely do not do hikiwa or don't allow hikiwaza if you're a if you're a, a shimpan, but in in the the match that you were in, there was a, a a couple of times as you were separating, you did hikiwaza, and mm-hmm. I was thought, oh, you, you're going to get a handsoku here, but but you mm-hmm. didn't. And I think that the the uh, hikiwaza ippon, the 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 hikimen ippon that you scored, actually you you got that very quick mm-hmm. separate. And so hikiwaza under these new rules hikiwaza is still okay you've just got to do it very quickly from from when you go into subazerio mm-hmm. like, like hikiwaza is fine but it must be done fast mm. was that the same w- were those rules a bit stricter when you were at high school in the high school tournaments mm. in high school tournament in high school tournament tournament was like like no to Bazeriai. Oh absolutely not. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, okay. Uh, but sometimes they took Hikiwaza, but it's real really quickly. Yeah, we we've been told that I think as you go in, 
as you hit, end up in Subazaria. It's literally got the B. As soon as you hit, then you go back and do mm-hmm. it. And that's mm-hmm. that's okay, but you can't be in Subazaria for too long and then mm-hmm. and then step back and mm-hmm. do it. Okay, well, I'm going to try now if uh, – I hope I don't embarrass you, but I've got queued up your match, your first round match from mm-hmm. – uh, the All Japans against Kanako Mera. So I'm going to share the screen now and uh, let's watch uh, just a, a minute or so of your match. So uh, uh, here we go. So obviously you're uh, in white and your opponent Kanako Mera in red. Mm-hmm. See, you did Hikiwaza quite quickly then, so that's maybe why it wasn't yeah. given. Mm. She was very tall. Yeah, she quite a bit taller, yeah. What was the most difficult thing about fighting Kanako Mera? Was it her height? Oh, there, sorry, there you are. You just got scored a Hikimen there, if we can just... Mm-hmm. But... But it, she was very tall, but she she was like um so maybe it was easy for me for Hikiwaza because she is very tall. But the the second man, we just go back a second. Mm-hmm. Second one you got is she went for Hikido mm-hmm. and uh then you pounced straight in after mm-hmm. and uh and got with a regular men. So that oh, that's your first uh your first dip one again. Mm-hmm. And then it's not long after this. Here she goes for Hiki Doll, and you just went straight in with men. That was a great ip one. I learned this was uh, in Nakamura. Oh right. So it came uh, it came in very very useful for you then. Mm-hmm. There's one thing that we we spoke about uh before uh when we did the first interview about uh shingitai mm-hmm. something that you were told was was very very uh important uh when you were practicing at Nakamura and uh shin meaning mind gi meaning waza and tai meaning uh body um was that useful for you? Uh, in yeah. this tournament? Yes, really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that was your first match uh, mm-hmm. against the police officer, uh, Kaneko Mera from uh, Miyazaki. Mm-hmm. In the second match, uh, you fought uh, Ryu Hinako? Yes, Ryu. she is my um, high school senior. So she was one year ahead of you at yeah. uh, Nakamura? Yes. So you obviously know her very well then, I guess. Mm-hmm. Had you spoken to her at all before the competition or did, did you not speak to each other? Uh, we spoke like just a little. Just a little. Mm-hmm. And so obviously you, you're now the uh, first year student at Komazawa University, but she went from uh, Nakamura to the University of Tsukuba. Yeah. And she's a second year student there. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think we spoke about it a bit in the previous video, or I have done in other ones, that Tsukuba for men's and women's uh, university kendo in Japan is incredibly strong. Mm-hmm. And they always have many, uh, particularly with the men's as well, uh, competitors or graduates that end up in the All Japans and then going on to join the police. So how was that fighting your senpai then? Mm, I She was really strong, but I had a chance to win. So I tried, but she was really strong. What was the most difficult thing about fighting her? Because you said Ka- Kaneko Mero was um, very tall. Mm-hmm. How about uh, Ryu Hinako? Mm, 
like we know each other's candle. So, and she, her guard, guard was really strong. Kamai? Kamai, like guard, what do you call Guard. Yokeru. Ah, okay, okay. Mm. Sabaki. Ah, the way she can move her body, move mm-hmm. around. Right. Was really strong, so it was really difficult to hit her. And that match, um, five minutes regulation time, and it was a n- no score after that. And then mm-hmm. uh, under these new corona rules, usually Encho would just start and it goes f- until it finishes. Um, mm-hmm. I've I've seen some Encho in matches that have lasted 30 minutes, but mm-hmm. um, now under these new corona rules, because you're wearing... Uh, a, a mouth guard and also a mask it's it's obviously a lot harder so now three minutes of encho then they stop restart another three minutes stop restart and another three minutes so if you do three encho mm-hmm. then you have a, a break yeah you get to take your men off and mask off i think the break is maybe three minutes Three or five minutes. Three or five minutes. Mm-hmm. I've, I've seen it once in the men's All Japan's uh, last year. Mm-hmm. I remember if it was three or five minutes. But how does that affect you? Like, so usually before the regulation time would finish and then Encho just lasts for however long it lasts. But this time, three minutes stop, three minutes stop. Does that affect your concentration at all? Mm. So, but no, I can't. So, if that um, if stops, I can restart the waza. So I can relax, maybe. A <laughs> little bit relaxing time, or restart my head or body. I think that's that type of three minute intro. I have seen in the in the into high tournament years ago where they would they would do it like that even in high school competitions was that your experience of it at nakamura as well if your match went into encho yes i think that this is re- recently uh, under these corona rules it's the as far as i'm aware the first time it's been used in an adult adult mm-hmm. level competition but i remember with with the high school i work at going to the into high and this was 15, 16 years ago. And uh, yeah, then doing three minute, three minute sections of um, intro, but they wouldn't stop after three of them. They wouldn't take the men off. They would just keep, keep doing three minutes, three minutes until, uh, and, and until there's a winner. So uh, in this match against uh, Ryu Hinako, uh, you did two enchos and kind of oh. quite, Quite three, three inchos. Mm. So two two inchos finished, and then nearly the third incho had nearly mm-hmm. finished when um, she scored a men against mm-hmm. you, which mm-hmm. ended ended the match. Mm-hmm. Um, did you get a chance to speak to her after the tournament, after the match? Yes, I thanked her. <laughs> like, arigatou gozaimashita. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I yeah I I speak I spoke to her I spoke to her like little bit so okay mm-hmm. I hope it was uh, all smiles after the match and then you could have fun talking to her so after after this match finished. Um, mm-hmm. Did you get a chance to speak to your to your mum and dad, who I understand were were there watching, or were people in the gallery kind of kept mm-hmm. away from the competitors? Yes. So you you couldn't you couldn't go and talk to your mum. Uh, and- no, no. I uh, yeah yes. I I I went to oh, okay. up to see them. Oh okay. Mm-hmm. You know when we went to the men's uh, all Japan's last year, that people that were down on the floor. The uh, competitors and the press and things like that. We 
we weren't allowed to move up to the next level and the people in the next level were not allowed to come down to us. So maybe mm-hmm. maybe things are, are getting a bit more relaxed now. Mm-hmm. We, but, but this time we could move very easily. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, fantastic. So what are the kind of big lessons that you learned from your first, uh, your debut in the All Japan Championships? Mm. So, mm, like, um, it's a different atmosphere and like, Mm, I love. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, that's okay. Um, I for the second match, uh, I lost. Um, I lost this that match, but I found my improvement, and many high level candle people I'm with was. Mm, I think my. It was very good experience for me. So, how was it going back? So, you, you're in the the for, for women the the biggest tournament in Japan, and then I guess the next day you were back at university and training. Yes. You 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 had no days off straight back from Nara to to Tokyo after the competition. Uh huh. Oh wow! So, how was that getting back into the dojo the next day? Mm, like mm, I restart my skills and mentality. So, but many um team team my teammates said to me it was you are good match you are really good or. It was a good match, mm-hmm. so I was really ha- I felt really good. So it's what it was really happy for me. Great. So is there any any good advice you got from any of your uh, teammates at the university or your parents or any of the the other coaches there that things you need to maybe work on for the next uh, All Japan's? I'm sure you'll you'll have a go at qualifying again. Mm-hmm. Is there any any good advice that yeah that they that they told you to work on? Um, so, um, I they said I need to like more more. I I need to improve my waza and my. Mm, I need to be more gaman, like ha- patience. So, and so I, I think I have to, I need to train like more waza. And a- any particular ones that you've started working on really hard since, uh, since the All Japans? Yeah. Like I, mm, my special my tok, tokui waza, like special waza is men. So I want to improve my men um, more, more than like more fat inside, more. Mm, like improve so and my mm, more psychological state needs to be stronger too Mm, 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 mm. okay and are are you still we spoke about in the in the previous video that you Mm. were doing lots of uh what while you were at Nakamura, lots of uh, weight training or or gym exercise? Uh, are you still continuing with that at the moment, or is your kendo training just mostly 
uh, kendo in the dojo rather than the training room? No, yeah, no. I sometimes go for running or weight training. Not not every day, but sometimes. Okay, great. So this uh, this big competition, I'd say the the biggest competition for for women uh, in Japan, has now finished. So what's the next uh, big competition that you're working on? Um, this week I have another tournament, and this tournament is only college students, and it will be held in a team match. So uh, I will do my best. Oh, is it the uh, Gakse Taikai? Yes, um, kan- Kanto Gakse Taikai. Oh, Kanto Gakse Taikai. Mm-hmm. Um, for those of you that don't speak Japanese, uh, Kanto is the region around uh tokyo chiba kanagawa mm-hmm. um oh dear what other prefectures uh, around this area and gakse means university students so it's a yeah pretty big pretty big tournament um whereabouts is that being held um in tokyo at the tokyo budokan or the nippon budokan um it 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 is Another, not not Nihon Budokan or Tokyo Budokan. Oh, okay. But I think s- smaller than Nihon and Tokyo Budokan. So this this upcoming one is the team competition. Yes. And then the individuals is on uh, is on another day. Uh, individuals was held in May. Oh, that's right. Yeah, for that for this tournament, yeah, the team and individuals are on. On different days. Mm-hmm. So, did did you enter the uh, individuals? Yes. And how did you do in the individuals? Um, I uh, I won the first match, and my first match opponent was my high school senior. And I I did. Over time, um, time, and I took ski, and it was really good ski, <laughs> I think. Okay. And second match was, um, it it was it. She she was not really strong, but I think my mentality or like shingitai was not 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 good balance and that match that match i lost mm, mm, mm. so mm, second match was not good okay so this this time uh or this week uh, you're going into the team competition um mm-hmm. what position are you fighting in that are you simple jiho or I think simple or jiho, and that's that's mainly for the the younger students at the university, or from the fourth years to the to the uh, first years. Um, it doesn't matter. So the the um, what is it? The fourth year students haven't kind of retired from competition yet. Mm, I. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. One more time. So the the fourth year students haven't uh, retired from competition. Oh, uh, it's the last match for team mm-hmm. for them. Okay, yeah. Usually in uh, in Japan, but I don't know particularly for high school competitions. Once the competitions that take place in the summer are finished, <laughs> that's when the the high school seniors, the third graders. That's when they kind of retire, and then the competitions after that for the rest mm-hmm. of the year are just first and second years. So, but for the fourth year university students, I guess, as you just said, this is their probably their last one, and after that they will be looking for jobs. I guess for the next mm-hmm. uh, few months, is it shushoku katsudo? That yeah. Uh, for okay. those of you that don't speak Japanese, that's. Uh, the brutal process of trying to find a job 
to go to once you've uh, once you've graduated university. Mm-hmm. So this is your this is going to be your first um, big team competition uh, yes. for for the university. Mm-hmm. And uh, so from you're with Komazawa University. What what are the uh, other teams that you you want to watch out for in that competition? Mm, who who so, would you like to avoid, or who would you like to to fight? Um. So I have this. Oh, I, great! I have it, so I can check on them. Um, do, do you know Jose? Jose Daigaku. Oh, uh, Jose Daigaku. Yeah. Yeah, Jose is closer, co- close to Komazawa. And and but I think three. So we so we will probably go again against them. Uh, Jose, uh, yeah, very strong. Uh, yeah. And actually, in the, the recent women's all Japan's, who is it? Uh, Abe Mihiro. Did she finish third, or was she runner up in the all Japan's? Uh, Abe, Abe Mihiro. Yeah. Uh, she was three, three places. Third place. Ah, third, she's, third, that, third. Oh, she's okay. actually from uh, Hosei University as well. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, she went to Toingaka in high school and then from mm-hmm. there to uh, to Hosei University. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah, and she's, uh, I, I can't remember how old she is now. She must be around... 30 something like that but she's a, a tokyo police case mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah but uh even for for boys as well um yeah Hose is a is a, it's a very academically high level university and for for kendo mm-hmm. and, and sports in general it, it's a it's it's one of the big ones particularly in the in the kanto area mm-hmm. so this that competition uh this week how about after that what are you going to be uh, aiming towards after that? Um, after that, I have Bukyo, Bukyo National Tournament. Like Buk- um, Komazawa is Bukyo University. So like we have in uh, October 9th in um, Osaka and we have like we have Bukyo National Tournament. I I I, I can't like explain. B- so. Bukyo, you mean as in Buddhist? A uh, Buddhist, so yes, yes, yes. Ah, so a, a big tournament for Buddhist universities? Mm-hmm. All mm-hmm. oh, right, I'd not heard of that competition before. Yeah, I I I I'm yeah. Me too. <laughs> oh, okay. So, mm-hmm. so that's in uh, Osaka. Yes. Okay. When when is that? Uh, October ninth. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that probably the last competition of this year? No. We have um, then Shinjin Sen, like new, new team. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. Ah, so for those of you that. That don't understand the, the Japanese, it's the Shinjin Sen, it's where the the seniors or at university, the fourth years, or at high school, the third years, when they have retired, then you're kind of making a new team. So Shin mm-hmm. means new, Jin means person, Sen competition. So Shinjin Sen is the competition now for the what's going to become the new team over the next uh, year or so. Mm-hmm. So that will be the second competition then after the Bukyo one without the, the fourth year students? Um, like I said, uh, if we won this week tournament, so we have national tournament. Right, okay. So I, I don't know that um, they... But I think November. I think. Oh, that would probably be after the 
So the, the men's All Japan's is on November 3rd. So, yeah, it's mm-hmm. kind of, yeah, the, the, yes, the, the yes. Nash, Zen Nihon Gakuse, the All Japan students mm-hmm. one is, yeah, I, I, I believe it's late November. November 13th, I guess. Or oh, mid-November? Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. So is, is the pace of um, tournaments much higher at university than it was for you at high school? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it seems to be that way. I mean, it's, see, from, from working in a Japanese high school, it seems that the, the number of competitions that students are going into is, is pretty high. But from mm-hmm. what you've been telling me just this evening, it seems the, the pace of university tournaments is actually higher than, um, than high school, which is uh, something I'm quite surprised about. Mm-hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I think uh, we'll bring the interview to to a close very soon. So if anyone has uh, a question they would like to ask uh, Naomi, uh, please put it in the chat function. Uh, uh, if not, then uh, then we'll bring a close. But um, just while we're waiting for people to put in a question, if they have any. So, um, so far in general, how has your university life been? Um, compared to your high school kendo life, to your new uh, university kendo life? Um, like, like difference? Yeah, diff- or good, um, good points, bad points. Um, I need to study a lot. <laughs> you mean study kendo or academics or the textbooks? Text, the textbooks. <laughs> okay. Are you, are you finding time to... Uh, to hit the books while you're while you're uh, while you're doing kendo. Mm-hmm. I'm trying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So just had uh, one. So I just knocked my microphone over. Just had one question come in from someone. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you please give me advice? on how to advise young kendoka into practice kendo and still being able to study. So obviously you're at a big kendo university, so Mm -hmm. you've got your study side and your kendo side. Mm -hmm. Uh, How can you, can you give anybody advice on how to kind of deal with both of them at the same time? Mm. You need to find good balance. Time and time is important. So it's really difficult, but you need to um, and you need to find study times or and time is important to use carefully. So. Mm, I, I'm not good at it, but I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> so do, do you set yourself like a, a, a regular schedule? Like, for example, I, I, you, you said to me before that university practices from four o'clock till six o'clock? Yeah. So do you set yourself a regular schedule? Like, okay, well, I'll, I'll study for two hours then from seven until nine. Do you get into a routine like that, or is that really mm-hmm. not possible? Yeah, it, it is. I, I try. You try to do that. Mm-hmm. Is it easier to find that time at university than when you were at high school? Um, in high school. Yeah, because obviously at high school you were training a real lot with the with the Nakamura girls team. Mm-hmm. Um, is it was it easier to find study time? when you were at high school than it is at university? Um, um, like in high school, the teachers is always like watching us. And, but now I have to do it alone. So, oh. but, yeah. <laughs> So at university, you've um, 
you're kind of left to your left to yourself. But at university, uh, sorry, at high school, you've always got your teachers looking down on you, saying study, study, study. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. well, you're you're an adult now, so I guess it's your responsibility. Yeah. So I'm responsible for myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And one more question that's just come in. Um, uh, someone said that they have a lot of high school students at their dojo. Um, do you have any advice on how to keep them motivated? Motivated. Mm, motivated. Mm, so last time I explained that Shingitai mentality and um, waza um, skills and um, um, physical physical Mm -hmm. Mm, this three of them mm, is very important and motivated is a difficult thing but you need to find the Fun in kendo. Need to find the fun in kendo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I my um, my young children are now kind of getting quite quite into it into kendo, and obviously I want them to do well, but I don't want to be pushing them too much at the moment. I don't want mm-hmm. them to 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 dread going to mm-hmm. the dojo or want mm-hmm. them to be ah, oh, dad's telling us we've got to go again. No, mm-hmm. I want want, the, want them to have fun and. To enjoy themselves, but they're very young. But I guess, mm-hmm. yeah, the same the same kind of thing would apply to to high school students. Mm-hmm. Um, and wh- whoever asked that question has just said thank you, Naomi Sensei, for for your response. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I guess um, you're going to have lots more training to be getting on with for the huge number of competitions that you've got coming up over the next months. Um, mm-hmm. I hope all the people that are listening uh, to this video, either live or watching it on YouTube, are going to be supporting you uh, in your quest to qualify for the All Japan Kendo Championships next year as well. Um, You're the first person that we've spoken to on this uh, KED Talk series that has actually entered the uh, All Japan Kendo Championships, whether it's for, for the men's or the women's. So, Thank you very much for that. Um, it's been really interesting to, to hear about your experiences. On the first talk we did on building up to the All Japans, and then in this video today on uh, how you approached it and your experiences of the day and, and what you've got to work on. So it's been a really interesting talk again. Um, I guess it's not far off your bedtime now. It's getting nearly 11 p.m. at night uh, here in Japan. So I think that's a good time to call it a close. Um, so Naomi, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. I, 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 I really thank you very much for this opportunity. I, yeah, I'm very happy to be here. Fantastic. Yeah, we're really happy you could join us. And uh uh, as your dad told me that uh, as you're based in Tokyo now, the, the next Kendo World Keiko Kai will hopefully, um, depending on Corona, will be on in July next year. So as you're very going to be very close to it, hopefully you'll be able to join us for that as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Well, Naomi, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, we hope to speak to you again sometime soon. Uh, sorry, my English was not really good. No, 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 no problem, no problem. All right, everyone, thanks for listening. And uh, yeah, we hope yeah. you can join us for the next Kid Talk. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.